Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer courtesy of Mike, thank you so much. And this is canned, by, or this is a hot butcher for the world, so one of the uh, hype new uh, breweries in the Chicagoland area and this is in Bedford Park, Illinois, yeah. Cool. So this is Cosmic Fountain. This is double IPA, Citra Waimea, and Mosaic. So yeah, really cool. And they have some uh, tasting notes over here on that hop. So what does it say? Uh, Lush Citrus, Dank Pine, Bright Berry. Cool. Decided to dig into this thing. And this was canned. Cool. Um, to the date two weeks ago, basically. Something like that. Excited. I think this is my second beer. Oh. Second, third beer from uh, Hot Butcher. Wow, that is hazy. Okay, so that's full on hazy opaque. Uh, oh, yeah. So you guys see that? Yeah, you guys can for sure. Wow, you guys can for sure see that. There's a lot of chunky chunks in here. That's probably some of the most I've seen in a can ever. That's crazy. This is uh, stored on the side too. So um, yeah, that's either a lot of yeast, hot particulate proteins, who knows what it is, but that's just like large chunks. Large, large, large chunks. Wow. Don't look at your beer if you're gonna try to enjoy some hot butcher, I guess. But um, pretty ni nice looking beer otherwise. Um, I get a lot of orangey tones. The standard kind of citrus note, lush, yeah, I mean, lush citrus, lush citrus is literally right. I get some dank pine too. I also, I mean, they're pretty spot on in their notes. Uh, not quite getting the berry mosaic notes as much. But yeah, a little bit of that fusely, a little bit of that diesel kind of uh, hop thing. Nice sweet kind of citrus, so uh, navel orange, um, mandarin. Some of the sweeter notes, so like mango drives in here as well. It smells awesome, cheers. Yeah, so this is very much um, New England IPA. I mean, two weeks in only, uh, two weeks in, I guess only, the beer is still pretty very green. It's very, very green. Uh, a lot of just hot burn, green character. Hot burn is not that bad, but it's a hot dryness. It's a very, very chlorophenolic kind of experience. Green, very, just so dry because of that experience. Honestly, I haven't had something like this recently. Uh, it's been quite a minute since I've had these like super dry double IPA bomb that's just like, you know, Emphasized by tons of green hop character, drying for days. Um, a little bit of hop burn thing, and then just like creamy mouthfeel, but without like any distinctive hop flavor to it. I guess on that bright citrusy orange thing, a little bit tropical, but then it's boom. It's all the way down. Um, hey, that's what the kids like. I think a lot of people uh, like that green character. I think or they've gotten to like it. Um, to me, it's one of the biggest flaws in New England, or the biggest flaw in New England IPA. A lot of people complain about hop creep and um, a diacetyl, but this is by far uh, the, the one that comes up for me for most. And some people like it. For me, it's huge attractive the style as a rating. It's almost undrinkable in my, my, in my opinion, it's almost undrinkable. Um, Oh, as you get more and warms up, it gets, it gets real dry. Yeah. Hot burn for days. Woof. Um, not, but, but again, sometimes hot burn, this is just hot dry. Like it's, it's like, it's like tannins in a wine that's just like completely just rips away at, at your palate. Um, yeah, it's like tannins. Uh, this beer for me gets a 77. Sure, that seems like a decent number to give like these hot burn beers. Cosmic Fountain. Let me know what you think about Hot Butcher. Have, have had some good beers from them, but this is, uh, maybe it's a little green. I mean, two weeks in, maybe need another two weeks, maybe need another month on it. Who knows? Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.